ask, why are so many small boats made out of aluminum? What's the advantages and disadvantages of an aluminum small boat? I'm gonna cover all that in this video. The reason that many of the small boats available are made out of aluminum is because it's less expensive. It's relatively easy to work with, and if you look around, there's not a whole lot of other options out there. There are some made out of plastics. Plastic! And there are a few made out of fiberglass. I've been fortunate enough to own two fiberglass boats and then also two small aluminum boats. And they both have their pros and their cons, but there's a lot of interesting things about some of these small aluminum boats. These small aluminum boats are actually built two different ways. There are many that are riveted together, like mine, and then there are ones that are welded together. And both of those methods have their pros and their cons. For example, a riveted together boat may be much less expensive than a welded together boat. However, rivets can fail. I've seen situations where people have had rivets come loose because their battery has fallen over in their boat or something else has happened and it's popped some rivets out and they've had to repair and replace those rivets. And if you've ever dealt with solid rivets before, they can be a bit of a challenge. The learning curve is pretty steep and there's some specialized tools that you need to be able to deal with solid rivets. Now, if you have one or two rivets that are loose that just need to be replaced or repaired or whatever, there's lots of different approaches to those kinds of things and that's for another video. The other way a lot of these small boats are made is they're welded together. Now, the nice thing about welded together is you're not dealing with rivet problems. And if you own a welded together aluminum boat, anytime you need to repair that boat, you're gonna need to take it to somebody who will weld aluminum. That could be a big expense and a lot of trouble to be able to find a place that will weld up your aluminum boat. One of the reasons they make these boats out of aluminum is because it's actually inexpensive and relatively simple to build a small aluminum boat. If you look at a polycraft boat, which is made out of plastic, there might be very, very good boats, but they cost considerably more than an aluminum comparable boat. Another advantage of an aluminum boat is that they're very lightweight. This is a 12 foot boat and I can practically pick this thing up with one hand. Aluminum boats are very lightweight, which means they're very easy to trailer around. They're easy to launch. They're easy to just deal with whenever you're trying to do work on the boat. Another advantage of a small aluminum boat like this is the maintenance. You don't have to polish it. There's no gel coat to buff out and waxing or anything like that. Matter of fact, a lot of people who have small aluminum boats, they just leave them sit out all the time. They might cover them over in the winter time, or they might just leave them sit out in their yard. I was one of those people that used to think that aluminum never corroded, that you wouldn't ever have any problems with that. Well, it does corrode. This boat has a lot of corrosion on it, and some of it I'm not sure how it corroded or why it corroded. I don't know if it's the results of the water that it was in, how it was treated, painted, whether there were some other kinds of metals set in it or something, I'm not sure, but this boat does have some corrosion in it. The corrosion seems to not be getting any worse though, which is a great thing. Because of the nature of the way aluminum boats are made, they're loud. And so when you're on the water, they can be kind of loud when the water's slapping against the side of your boat and as you're moving around inside of the boat. And you know, sometimes it sounds like you're, you're in a tin can on the water. Which is why Australians refer to them as tinnies, I believe. Now, one of the interesting dynamics about a small aluminum boat is that because it is aluminum, and a lot of them are not made out of very thick gauge aluminum, is they're pretty solid, but they can dent pretty easily. And sometimes the hull can actually get damaged, can get cut into or torn. So many people like the ruggedness of an aluminum boat. However, if you do beat it up, they're kind of hard to put back to being good again because the aluminum can stretch a lot of times whenever it gets dented so a lot of times people leave the dents in their aluminum boats and if it's leaking then they put a patch in that area so one of the neat things with an aluminum boat is that you do have options some of them are prettier than other options but you do have options for how to repair an aluminum boat with a fiberglass boat, there's not a lot of options for how to repair a fiberglass boat. There's either the right way or the wrong way. So in some ways, repairs are easy with an aluminum boat. However, to make an aluminum boat look like new again can be quite challenging. I think there's a reason why there's a whole lot of 50, 60, and 70 year old aluminum boats still out there, and that's because they hold up. They do last. 
And speaking of aluminum boats, there's actually a couple different types. Obviously, there's the flat bottom John boats and the V-hull boats. This video right here talks about the difference between those types of boats and which one might be best for you. Take a look at that video next. All right, what are we going to do with you today?